King Herod in the Bible, we read in Matthew chapter 2 verse 8, Herod sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and worship him. He had evil intention in his heart, but he was displaying himself a very good-hearted person. God searches your heart and he will judge you looking at your thoughts and your intentions. Angel of the Lord, strike him down because Herod wanted people to worship him. He wanted to take the place of God and anything that comes between the relationship of God and believers, God will resist them. It could be a particular sport. There are so many sports played in the country, but one particular sport should not be given too much of attention and too much of likeness that people spend hours and hours liking and playing this game. Everything must be balanced. Some people, they watch too much of movies. Watching movie is good. Playing game is good. But not giving them a place of God where too much of attention and focus given. So God doesn't like people worshipping something else than him so we must be careful where we give our too much of attention it is good that you focus on the work that you do for your living but not all the time you give you time to visit you have a time limit where you have to do your office work and there are other activities that you need to do some people were considering this celebrity as a goddess and after her death so many people wanted to look at her and take darshan. Darshan, in other words, they wanted to worship her uh, by attending her funeral service. So people were considering her goddess. She was a very good-hearted actress. But people were looking at her like their goddess. So God doesn't like anything that is given his place. So you need to understand when people around you, they may try uh, to resist you for the work that you do for the expansion of his kingdom. God will resist those people. Some people say that angel did not kill Herod. Herod was going through kidney disease and he was going through mental disorder. No matter what cause could be for his death, if he would have faced mental disorder, it is because he was not in order he was not obeying god he was not worshiping god and as per my experience i have seen 
people who have mental disorders their life span will not be more no matter how rich they are no matter uh what medication they are going through what facility they have such kind of people will not survive so we have to understand that people or things or any addiction that is taking god's place god will resist that so you need to balance your life it is good to play sports it is good to watch movies but for everything there has to be a limit you don't have to cross the limit and anyone who stops you reading the word of god spreading the word of god god will resist those people and he will separate those people from you he will protect you some people say that god wanted to protect his people that's why he took herod no matter what conspiracy they make nothing will work their intentions will not prosper they may boast about their wealth and riches but one touch of god will change everything so king herod died a very sad death because he did not praise god and he troubled people who were trying to do god's work anyone who disturb your spirit god is going to resist those people and god will take those people far away from you so you don't have to worry just keep praying and those people will never come in your presence to trouble you one day god has set to completely vanish them from your life so keep trusting god i hope you got a moral out of this story thank you for watching peace